I was walking through the countryside just the other day when I saw a field of donkeys and I said that donkey looks unsteady as he began to sway. He's one leg to a few to be a quadruped. A donkey with three legs, a donkey with three legs. What do you call a donkey who's only got three legs? A wonky donkey. marvelled at this rarity, but not for very long, for another three-legged donkey caught my eye. But he only had one eye himself, a natty pirate patch concealed the empty socket by the by. A donkey with three legs, a donkey with three legs, what do you call a donkey with one eye and three legs? A winky wonky donkey. Donkey in that field and seemed had more than just three legs, and the next was a cyclopean as the last. But the smell that he emitted like atomic rotten eggs, like the smell of sadness or fermented farts. A donkey with three legs, a donkey with three legs. What do you call a donkey with B.O. or and one eye and three legs? A stinky winky wonky donkey. The next one I three-legged donkey's odor was as ripe as the last one, and he looked as though he'd be bored. If he were balancing on one hoof while with the other two, he tried to pick a tune out on a grand piano's keyboard. A donkey with three legs, a donkey with three legs, what do you call a donkey who's trying to play the piano and has B.O. and one eye and three legs? A plinky plonky stinky winky wonky donkey. The next one had another piano, plus all the other stuff, and he played it rather better on the whole. But his repertoire was limited, playing mainly on the hoof. He just managed fairly early rock and roll. A donkey with three legs, a donkey with three legs. What do you call a donkey playing early rock and roll on the piano with B.O. and one eye and three legs? A honky tonky plinky plonky stinky winky wonky donkey. Just one more donkey in that field, which I know will come as a relief to you all. And although it seems absurd, on his piano there was heroin and crystal meth. And though the rock and roll was still all that I heard, he looked more like a fan of the Sex Pistols. He was definitely a donkey. And not some kind of marmoset. He's tr he was trying to unlock the gate, but doomed to fail. For the lock that held the gate shut was made by Messrs. Chubb, while the key between his teeth it was a Yale. He had been dressed up in a gimp suit, which I thought a little strange. He had been drawn up with a pen and was quite grubby. But he had another outfit into which he could change. It was the costume of a Teletubby. A donkey with three legs, a donkey with three legs. What do you call a donkey who's high on crystal meth, enjoys the music of the sex pistols, is definitely a donkey, not some kind of marmoset. He's trying to unlock a chub along with a Yale key, he's been dressed up in a gimp suit that's been drawn on with a fountain pen, reminds you of a telly chubby who's playing early rock and roll on the piano, and has B.O. and one eye and three legs. I'm sure you're all way ahead of me here. Hardly need to do the punchline, really. Ah, go on then, all together now. A uh, junky punky, not a monkey, bloody hell, this is the ronky, kinky, inky, tinky, winky, honky, tonky, plinky, blonky, stinky, winky, wonky, donkey! <sighs> Take five bisquillion and eight, but it'll do, hooray!